All right, welcome to another Screens Off. Today we are going to go on a bug hunt. So in order to go on a bug hunt, you need to get outside. We have a nice big yard here with a bunch of gardens. We're gonna explore the gardens and the plants around them, and we're gonna look for bugs. Now, if you don't have a yard you can explore in at home, maybe you can go to a park and run around outside and check out the plants, maybe turn over some dirt, look for bugs that way. But there's tons of creepy crawlies right in your own backyard, and all you gotta do is search for them. So I have my two assistants here today, my daughter Grace, my son Isaac, and we have a few tools. Now in order to go on a bug hunt you don't need tools per se, but some can help. They can make the job a little bit easier. We have some shovels that we're going to use so we can dig up some dirt. We have a container that we can put bugs in so we can inspect them at some point. Uh, we can hang on to them for a little bit and then let them go. Um, you don't need a bug container like this. This one has a magnifying lens and a little door and the whole nine. Um, anything from like a glass jar in your recycling to a yogurt container would be just more than fine. And then finally, if you guys are a little bit squeamish, maybe get some gloves. These are some gardening gloves that we use. If you guys don't want to hang on to worms or ants and things like that, at least you can let them creep and crawl all over your gloves. So we're going to go out, we're going to try to find some bugs. So we found one bug already. We caught a daddy long legs. Found this guy creeping and crawling around. Let's see if we can get him focused in there. These guys are hard to catch. So here is a rhubarb plant that we have growing in our garden. And you can see the rhubarb plant has all these holes in it. I think someone's been snacking on the rhubarb. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try lifting the leaves we're going to look on the underside of the leaves, we're going to look on the top of the leaves, and we're going to see if we can't find and who has been snacking on my rhubarb. Looks like we found something right in there, all curled up. So we have here a snail. That's a little itty bitty snail. Having a little rest. He probably was the one who was snacking on my rhubarb. Another good place to look are on flowers. Sometimes you will be able to catch bees going to the flowers to get pollen. Sometimes you even catch little guys like ants climbing up. So these are flowers on my rhubarb plant. Oh, there we go. We have a little ant having a snack. Another good method for finding bugs, you find some rocks and you lift them up. So we have here a stone in our garden. Uh, my daughter Grace here is going to lift it up. We're going to see what we find underneath. Now we haven't lifted this up yet, so it'll be a surprise. Maybe there'll be something under there. Maybe there won't be anything under there. Let's find out. Cool. Oh, it's hard because it's heavy. Small. There we go. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, there's stuff under there. Lift, 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 lift. Oh. There we go. What do we find under here? Or a bunch of ants under there. There's some little itty bitty guys Can too. I, I don't know what those are. You can see tunnels. And so these are some ant chambers there. I see one right in here. Found a ladybug! A ladybug! You found the container, we put it on in. Got a ladybug. Oh, is the ladybug gonna take oh. off? And gone! Here. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Got, it looks like a orange and black beetle of some sort hanging out on that leaf. Alright, we found this guy. He was chewing on some wood. Let's see if we can get him in there. We caught a wasp. We was chewing on some wood and we just came up quietly behind him. Let's see if we can fi fix the focus there. We came up quietly behind him and we just scooped him up in the container. Now guys like this you have to be extra careful so let your growing up help you quite a bit with this to catch guys like this. This guy's getting a little irritated. We're gonna have to let him go soon. He's gonna bite you because you caught him. We'll let him go somewhere safe. Oh and also that we had the wasp there we go. So house. up on our roof we actually had a wasp nest and this is what they do with the wood. So wasps here will chew up wood, they eat it, and they take it back to their nest, they spit it out and they turn it into this paper and they use it to make their nest. So this is all wood that a bunch of wasps chewed up. This was actually hanging up on our roof and then a blue jay came by one day and pecked at it and destroyed it. I guess blue jays don't like wasp nests. So we have little bits and pieces of wasp nest to show you. These guys are decomposers. They're actually related to shrimp. And they breathe through their skin. 
they like to hide under things, so you'll often find these guys in wood. Sometimes they look like potato bugs. Yeah, the same thing. We call potato them potato bugs, bugs too. Yeah. Ah! Where'd he go? We're gonna leave them. One last technique I wanna show you guys. Now, if you have one and you have a place or parents that are willing to do it, um, another technique is to take a shovel and turn over some grass. Now you can do it in a way that you don't damage the grass. You just peel it back, you just check out what's underneath and you can put it back again and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use this shovel here. I'm gonna dig a little hole. We're gonna peel back the grass and we're gonna see what we can find underneath our feet. Probably some worms. You think? What else do you think we'll find? I don't know. Ants? Is there hollows underground? I think it's a good kind of good bug. You see I did a U-shape. I'm gonna peel it back. Sticking right out from the bottom here. What do we have? There's a worm in there. <laughs> we got a little worm. Hold on. Can we keep it. him? We're not going to keep the worm. Why? We found a little worm. Just hanging out in the dirt. Worms are another decomposer. They help make our dirt nice and rich in nutrients. This guy's active. He's probably not happy that we pulled him out of his home. So we're going to put him back in. shake oh found one there we go we got a grub so these guys these guys will grow up to be a bigger bug like a beetle or something like that they live just in the grass you can see it here he was sleeping when we woke him up and that's it for this week's edition of screens off please as always like comment follow us and share on our facebook page Next week's edition of Screens Off is going to be our last one. It's going to be an extra special one. Maybe releasing it a little bit late, so just follow us on Facebook so you can get that notification when it's released.